Hello and welcome to Ember's Reading Room. A special story today, and a little story before the story. Uh, if you watched our Pokemon Go video, you know how we get Google to give us play credit. So I had this Google play credit and then Google sent me a coupon for a book. And so I decided to use that coupon and my play credit and get a book. Because the first Cowpoke Clyde book was so fun to read. And thank you again to Fen of the Gourmet for that. Yes, and hopefully Miss Mortensen will enjoy this one just as much as the last one. <laughs> ah, so today we are looking at Cowpoke Clyde Rides the Range, written by Lori Mortensen, illustrated by Michael Allen Austin. No promises on the southern drawl. It may happen more quickly this time, I'm not sure. And we already start off with a wonderful image of the cover. Poor Cowboy Clyde looks like he's a bit of out of control down a dirt hill on his bike, which I'm guessing is going to be the theme of this lovely book. Well, in reading the description, Cowpoke Clyde was kind of confused. His favorite magazine was telling him he needs a bicycle. And after reading that description, and I have to say this now because Lux didn't record it when I first read the description of the book, so I have to do it now before we start the book, otherwise everyone will call hacks. Because in reading it, I was like, well, a bike wouldn't bite and it wouldn't kick. Having a bike might be pretty slick. <laughs> yeah, she said that right after I mentioned the title. No one's going to believe me, especially if it's actually in here. Aww. Oh, that's cute. The dog is reaching into the mailbox. Also, I like the design of the mailbox. It's very natural and... Except for the metal sheet that's covering the mailbox itself, the rest of it's natural wood. And it looks like the dog's getting the mail for Cowpoke Clyde. Mm-hmm. And Kit and Caboodle and Company. That must be the magazine. Must be. To Martin, who always nails his rides and has met his share of critters along the way. LM? I'm not sure if that's Kylie or Siley. Hmm. So for Kylie and Jack, M-A-A. I always hmm. want to read the dedications. Hmm. Well, that's very nice. Yes, I actually need to read this illustrated insert. Yeah. Kitten, Caboodle, and Co. Everything you want, plus the kitchen sink. Oh, they sell kitchen sinks too. That's handy. Mm -hmm. Wow. Gee whiz. Smedley's Splendid Bites. Reliable. Second to none. Ladies and gents, you're in for a treat. Riding our bikes just can't be beat. When all your daily chores are done... Climb on a Springer and have some fun. Ready for adventure? Try our Springer model. Order one today. $8.95. Can I get one of those? Yeah, that's... I, 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 I mean, I want that price. Though it makes me kind of worried. Just a little, but we don't know the exact time frame this is set in. If it's actually set in the Old West, that could be a good chunk of change. Mmm, yeah. But, but still, I'll, t I'll take that. So, yeah, steady handlebars, steel body, rubber tires, just to read the little icons pointing to the various parts of the bike. And all of it's nicely illustrated, very clean, very well done. It fits within the style that they've established so far. Based on the whole one book that we've read. <laughs> yeah, still, it's an established style, and it's well put together here. Mm -hmm. And this really draws you in because... Clyde's hand is holding it. You're looking at it as if you're actually looking at this advertisement. Cowpoke Clyde poked at an ad. Looky dog at this here fad. It says that when my chores are done, I'm supposed to ride a bike for fun. Ride a bike? It weren't no horse. He'd have to try it out, of course. Imagine me a riding around on two big wheels across the ground. I love the way this thing rhymes. She has such a way of writing the rhymes that it doesn't feel bad. Yeah, sometimes rhyming is a bit painful. Or forced. Well, there aren't that many rhyming words in the English language. A, a rhyming dictionary is only, it's actually thinner than a packet of binder paper you buy at the store. Yep, and just for those out there still believing in myth, there are words that rhyme with the word orange. But try to find one that rhymes with the word wolf. Just look at these nice illustrations and... I like how it follows over because he's pointing at the ad now and talking to Dog. Mm-hmm. 
the colors are so rich and vibrant and the way the panels are laid out, everything draws you to Cowpoke Clyde in the ad. Mm-hmm. I wonder how different it would be actually reading the physical book, because right now we're just looking at one page at a time. I bet that was a two-page spread. You can try turning it sideways. Nope, it just zooms in. Yeah, I tried that before we started casting. I, I'm reading off my phone, and I'm casting to the television so that Lux doesn't have to stare over my shoulder at the screen. I'm actually doing a little bit of both, because I have to make sure I point at the microphone. The more Clyde thunk, the more he smiled at riding something not so wild. It wouldn't eat, it wouldn't stray, it wouldn't buck or bite or neigh. <laughs> we got very close, ladies and gentlemen. Very close. That's a very speculative Clyde. Yeah, and he looks slightly younger in that illustration compared to the other illustrations we've seen so far. Though it's a very wonderfully done illustration. The hand is nicely rendered. The hat is very shiny, though it, his hat is black here. I think it was brown in the previous? More brown. Just traditionally, you don't want to be one of the black hats. You want to be one of the white hats, or at least brown, to follow movie theater. Those are wonderful images. Well, yeah, because it, it goes back to what he was saying. It wouldn't eat, it wouldn't stray, it wouldn't bite or buck or neigh. So we have the bicycle eating, the bicycle wandering off, and the bicycle with its wheels turned into mouths with very horse-like teeth. And with the way I said that, I was actually meaning that it went very well with the text, and it, I was like, wow, I didn't actually expect that. Well, if you look here at the corner, there's a bit of Clyde's shoulder. Mm -hmm. So it might have been a two-page spread. I think most of these are two-page spreads, just like the other book. Mm -hmm. So... With a wink at his old dog, Clyde bought one from that caddy log. <laughs> when it came, the one he'd seen, he strode around his steel machine. Piece of cake, said Cowpoke Clyde. I think I'll take it for a ride. <laughs> oh, the illustrations are so wonderfully done. I love the expression the dog has, how it's doing that classic, hmm, hunger down, studying the object. And Cowpoke Clyde is just... Yeah, I can do this. I think I can take this for a ride. And his hat's actually more of a blue than a black. Matches his pants and scarf. Bandana. Bandana. Clyde plopped down on the skinny seat and pushed the pedals with his feet. As he rolled, he picked up speed on his strange newfangled steed. Wibbling, wobbling down the road. Right straight at a... <laughs> Horny toad. <laughs> oh, and I love the expression on Clyde's face as he's just picking up speed. Oh, boy. And I love the way the background's done with the rocks, the gravel, the dirt road, and just how he's positioned and the dog chasing after him, how happy he is, and how, oh, Clyde is. Well, this does not look like a dirt bike. Nope. A toad that scrambled from the fray. A toad that skittered clean away. Fast toad. And wonderfully rendered like, whoa. He's just looking at that bike like, that's not good. He kind of looks like an annoyed dragon like, what are you doing? I'm busy here. Zigging, zagging left and right. Clyde bump, bumped, bumped and held on tight. Wishing for some trusty reins to steer this thing across the plains. Then all at once, caught unaware, Clyde blundered toward a long-eared... Hare? Hare. I was thinking mare, but hair works. A hare that stared with bugged-out eyes. A hare that leaped in sheer surprise. Look out, cried Clyde, I'm coming through. If only he knew what to do. You grab the handlebars and steer, and based on the style of bike, you actually pedal backwards to brake. Braking? Steering? How'd it work? Riding bikes was plum berserk. <laughs> oh, wow. This is amazing. And the art, the poor hair, I mean, all works wonderfully together. 
And it's a skinny desert hare. It's not, you know, one of your fluffy, cute bunnies. And I love how the hor horse, I love how the dog is in the background just hanging out on the fence, looking at Clyde, going, ah! <laughs> As beads of sweat rolled down his spine, he hurtled toward a... Poor cute pie. <laughs> Oof. That's not gonna be good. A porcupine with spiky quills. A porcupine that gave Clyde chills. Would the beast and Clyde collide? I'm done for now, the cowpoke cried. <laughs> and there he is, going down a hill at immense speeds, heading towards the poor porcupine, who was eating corn? Yes. Okay, the reason I paused, I was like, there's a rhyme there? Is there a rhyme there? Everything has something to do with the next page. Swervin' left, then swervin' right. He jerked the bars with all his might, launched his bike into the air, and cleared the quills with scant to spare. Nice. Apparently he does know how to ride a bike. Extreme style. I love how you can still see this shadow of the porcupine spines right there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he's all curled up like, no, don't hurt me. The porcupine, by the way. Yeah, well, I'm sure none of these critters have ever seen a bike either. Yeah. He landed smack right in the dirt, rubbed his seat, wiped off his shirt, and gave the bike a nasty kick. He didn't like it, not one lick. Uh, and the dog's chasing after the porcupine. Bad idea. Uh, and the poor bike is on its side, and let's see what Clyde looks like. Not happy. Nope. He has his hat off, he's glaring at the bike, he's walking away. Who cares about a tomfool ride on some old bike, cried cowpoke Clyde. He grabbed his hat and started back, heading for his comfy shack. But as he walked, he thunk a bit. How could a cowpoke up and quit? Oh. Well, you know, when a horse throws you, you get right back on. Mm-hmm. Yep. So like it was an ornery horse, Clyde went back to his bike, of course. Legs or wheels, hooves or spokes, he'd nail this ride like all cowpokes. And you see the dog and the porcupine in the background I'm guessing either the dog got it, or he's now running away from the porcupine because the porcupine turned around and started chasing him instead. Mm-hmm. Clyde mounted up, set out again, dashing down a hill, and then, with one foolhardy, frenzied leap, he shot straight for some bighorn... Sheep. Sheep that bawed and twitched their tails. Sheep with horns as hard as nails. Lots of bighorn sheep, and the dog's going after them. Well, at the very least, uh, dog's in the lead, which mm -hmm. is kind of nicer than following Clyde. Mm-hmm. That's a nice illustration of the sheep right there. He's just like, I'm here, and nothing you can do about it. But like a train upon a track, Clyde had no way to turn on back, bouncing, bounding down the hill. He was doomed for sure, until... And straight into an illustration. <laughs> and they are moving out of the way quick. Old Dog, his howling, growling hound, raced across the windswept ground, scattering sheep as Clyde shot through. Clyde skidded to a stop. Ah, that's why Dog was in the lead. Well, he is a sheep dog. Yep. Yahoo! He didn't crash, he didn't fall. In fact, he weren't half bad at all. And arms up in celebration. And dog is all happy in the background. I hope the bike's at a stop because his hands are not on the handlebars. Well, he said he skidded to a stop in the previous page. Yep. <laughs> but still, he got the whole balance thing going. Mm-hmm. Soon he was riding like a pro in some two-wheeled rodeo. It ain't that hard, said Cowpoke Clyde, when you take it all in stride. See, he doesn't have his hand on the handlebars, yeah. and he's moving. Now he's moving. Yeah, those are some nice tire tracks there. Mm-hmm. And hey, the chicken's from the previous one. Probably. 
and dogs all happy in the background. Cowpoke Clyde is riding off into the distance. Yep. All very nicely illustrated. Mm-hmm. And you can see that light over there, so he's riding towards the sun, which, you know, as a cowboy, you kind of have to do that. Yep. But the shack's over to the south, but you gotta ride to the west, because it's in the cowpoke rule book that you gotta ride off into the sunset. Oh, that's a, the next wonderful illustration. He now has a horn on his bike, and it looks like he's about to honk it. He's all happy, and he's riding along. I love these illustrations. They're so expressive and so well done. Yeah, I don't remember noticing that horn before. I guess maybe it was a follow-up sale. I mean, if the bike was eight ninety-five, what was the horn? Fifty cents. Yeah. Now, whenever chores are done, Clyde rides his steel machine for fun. Who rides with him across the ground? Of course, his faithful furry hound. <laughs> he's got a wagon too. That's awesome, and he's got goggles on. Oh my God, the goggles are awesome on the dog. Yes. He's got mouth open, tongue hanging out, just as if it was a car ride. Mm -hmm. And they do actually recommend putting goggles on your dogs if they do that, or if you ride a motorcycle. Yes, because debris in the eyes. And look how happy Clyde is, and it's just so well done. Hope the horse doesn't feel too left out. Mmm. And the back cover is the hare leaping out of the way, as Cowpoke Clyde rides out of control down the hill. Okay, that was fun. Uh, just as fun as the last book. Pretty much. A, a little awkward to read it electronically, because I couldn't figure out how to do a two-page spread on my phone. I seem to remember turning it sideways as an option for that, but oh well. It wasn't working on mine. I turned sideways and we just kind of zoomed in. I'm like, I don't want to have to scroll on top of everything else. But yeah, this was a lot of fun. She has a very nice writing style for rhyming and the beats and the pattern. Yeah, and the lead-in and way the lead is, is incorporated with the illustration. This author and illustrator work very well together. So often in a lot of the children's books we've been reading, there's been a bit of a disconnect between the timing of where the writing was placed and where the illustration was placed. These guys just mesh together so well. Mm -hmm. And she has a really good sense of rhythm and pacing for the writing overall in the book. So, what do you think overall? It was fun. Like I said, my only thing is I hope the horse isn't feeling too left out. Mm -hmm. And I hope that he still has use for the horse, because if he gets good enough, you know, he might be able to do all his wrangling and stuff on the bike. But that doesn't stop the horse from eating and needing to be groomed and needing exercise. Mm -hmm. a, a little more... I want to say obvious, but a little more plain spoken in what the lesson is. You know, be willing to try new things and don't give up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it was nicely done overall, and I really enjoy this author and illustrator combination. They do a very good job together, as you stated. Mm-hmm. This has been Cowpoke Clyde Rides the Range by Lori Mortensen, illustrated by Michael Allen Austin. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this, we do have one other Cowpoke Clyde book on the channel. And lots of other books overall. Though they don't all have this much rhyming. And none of them except these two have a southern drawl at all. Uh, would you like to pick up a copy of this book for yourself? It was lots of fun. We'll give you a link because this one is relatively recent. So it's got to be in print. Even though I have a digital copy. I know it's available in hardcover. Just feel like going shopping? Yeah, why not? Check out Ebates. Sign up and get cash back for shopping at places you are probably already shopping at anyways. Amazon and Ebates are not sponsors of or in any way affiliated with Lux Analysis, Ember's Reading Room, or any of our channel content. And even though Google gave me the play credits, they're not sponsors or affiliates of the channel either. We use their survey program. Go see our Pokemon Go video. We'll tell you more there. Thanks again for listening.